Oh, thank goodness. I thought that I picked up a grape seltzer. It is grape. It looks like grape. Blueberry lemonade, thank goodness. It is time for another keto camping fear factor. I don't even know what episode we're on. What episode? Is this like eight? One episode too many. One episode too many. We got three really cool things to try today. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You get too happy about these Fear Factor episodes. I love these Fear Factor episodes. I don't know where we came up with the idea, but I really do enjoy these episodes. I don't know why. And everybody else enjoys them too. We've got grubs. There's some sort of grubs over there. Well, let's get into that. But if you're new to our channel, we started going camping every other week. So camping, thinking about shelf-stable foods, although we've kind of opened this up to non-shelf-stable. Sadly. Um, it makes you think. What could you possibly eat if you got caught in, like, say, a zombie apocalypse? But it's got to be keto. Got to be keto. And there is, sadly, a lot of things that are totally keto and shelf-stable. Now, we do have an entire playlist, which I will link right up here of all of the other episodes. And if you're wondering, because you maybe you're new to our channel, where do you get these things from? It comes from you guys as subscribers. So if you come across something really interesting, something really different, like tarantulas... Feel free to send them to us. The address is down below in the description box. It goes to our like post office box. And anything that you send to us... I hate the word anything. We must eat. And we've had some weird things, but we're starting to run out of things. And we've got three camping trips planned over the next five weeks. And one of them, by the way, is dry camping, which means no public restrooms and also... No public showers shouldn't and we, no electricity. Shouldn't we skip no, Fear Factor? Absolutely not. I actually am trying to figure out how to convince our last one of the year is with the boys, and I want to try to get them to join in for the Keto Fear Factor on that episode. Oh, it's got to be a good one for that. So, yeah, find some good stuff, and we're going to try to get the boys to join. I can't promise it, but I'm going to try. I know everybody wants to see Anthony. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have a love bug. We have a love bug. So, in case you're wondering, we are at Silver Springs State Park. And it's if you're awesome. ever in Florida, you have got to come to this place. You can also check out our other channel, which is Two Crazy Campers. And we're going to have a video up on this park there very, very soon. Yeah. Are you ready? No. Here's what we got. All of these were sent in by subscribers. We've got Vienna sausages, which we've had before. But this is jalapeno flavor. But this is flavor. jalapeno flavor. I love jalapeno. So, I'm actually looking forward to this one. We've got Fluker's Soldier Worms. I am not looking forward to this one. And then finally... Escargot. Escargot. Escargot somewhere else. And these are pre-cooked Helix Snails. I like just calling them Escargot because then my mind can travel to like, this is something else. Twelve giant ready-to-use snails. Twelve giant. Giant. I do have my drink. This is... Raspberry pink lemonade from Polar. This one is really good. Blueberry lemonade, thank goodness, is not great. Okay, where are we gonna start? I feel like I want to have the Vienna sausages and like have the jalapeno take some of the sadness away from the other things. Maybe okay. it will add a spicy flavor. I Well, I'm hoping you mean you want that last because here's the worst part about today's Keto Camping Fear Factor. We're fasting. We've yeah. decided to do a few days while we're camping of alternate day fasting. And we're going to break our fast. We're going to break our fast. Now, so it's not going to be really alternate day because we are going to eat today, but this is all we're going to eat. So there is nothing to wash this down with. But how bad could it be? 
We'll find out. What do you want to start with? I want to start out with jalapeno. I want to end with jalapeno because I feel like it's going to be the best tasting thing. And at least you're going to have a good taste on your mouth. Well, let's go do the snails. Because I feel like the soldier worms is going to be disgusting. I feel like the snails are going to be disgusting. I have had snails, but it was like at a fancy pants restaurant. Were like they the, canned? They were not. And they were like totally filled with butter. I'm so and... afraid to spill this all over me. Yeah. I'm glad we're outside. It Ugh. doesn't want to open. Maybe we just leave it closed. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. They're they're giant. Oh. They are giant. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Wow. I feel like I want to drain that oh. a little. Oh. oh. It's not juice. Wow. Those are mighty big. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh. They were not that big when I tried them before. Wow. Oh, why, thank you. Ladies first. Wow. Is there a smaller one? <laughs> They're all supposed to be giant. That is a giant. I'm going to tell my brain that Wait. these are mushrooms. Oh, they smell very seaweedy. Yes. They smell like a lake. Oh, wow. We went on a glass bottom boat tour yesterday and like... These were at the bottom. These were at the bottom. The, the lake smelled really good. Well, actually it was a river, but... Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to pretend that these are mushrooms. That's what I'm going to be I don't like mushrooms. Well, I like them, so I'm, I'm going to my happy place. Which would be a mushroom place. Do you do you need a puke plate? Yes, maybe. Oh, except for it's white, and now I'm getting to see like the color of the drippings. Okay. <clears throat> you dink it? <clears throat> you don't like mushrooms either. Uh, Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is just gonna be chewy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna think it's alligator. I like alligator. We have to go I someplace like else alligator. in our brains. Here we go. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. <coughs> wow. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. That tastes oh, no. like spinach, but like gritty. Oh, okay. Ugh. I swallowed a piece, but I had to throw the. I can't. I oh. can't. Okay. 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 Ugh. That tastes. I, I, the texture actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It but was chewy. It tastes like like dirty spinach from the bottom of a lake. It tasted. Ugh. Okay, I don't know if you ever had this. Growing up. Ugh. Oh, that was awful. Growing up, I had fish tanks. Okay. <laughs> Did you eat the algae? No, but when you wanted to clean oh. it, oh, we didn't awful. have the fancy cleaners, so you would have to drain the tank. And Daddy taught me to drain with a suction hose, but you have to get that suction hose going, right? So you'd have oh, this hose yep. and you would stand at the bottom and and get the water. And every once in a while, you that a water swig. would come in your mouth. That's what it tastes like. Dirty fish tank water. Dirty, yeah. Oh. It tasted like oh, I can't get the taste out of my spinach mouth. that was old and chewy from the bottom of a river. That's what it tastes like. Oh, that's gross. I'm Delightful. sorry. I don't know who sent that to us. I'm sorry for spitting it out. Zombi I really do try not to spit things out. Zombie apocalypse? Are you going to be eating that or I'm dying? I'm not eating that. Dying. No, I'm eating you. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Okay. Well, you're going to need your plate. I feel like I want a new plate. You want a new plate? Yeah. Let's, let's spring for a new plate. We're going to need our fork, though. Because next up is worms. I only have one fork. Do you have the other fork? Oh, here it is. Sorry. Oh, that's the Vienna sausage. Dang it. That's the one I want. Fluker's worms. But tell me, do you really want to end on that? Like, that's the last taste no. in your mouth was that? That's terrible. Oh. Oh, they're not dried. Why did I think that I thought they, they were, were dried. Going to be... I thought they were going to be like the tarantulas. Wow. Nope, they're juicy. Wow, why did I think they were going to be like big and like dried? Ooh. Wow. Okay, well, I feel like we it's take not the really chickens. it's not really fair to only have one. I I I feel like we have to do 5 a piece. 1 2, two. Uh well, one, you got two, 6. Three, four, five, but that six. one doesn't count. That's a baby. Oh man. They're one, two, just 1 2 3 4 
This is bait. These are full on worms. Okay, we have to have a rule here. Ugh. You have to have, there's a rule to this one. Okay. Because these are gonna be too easy. You have to chew. Oh, dang it. You, you totally, have to chew. You knew my game plan. Uh, well, my game plan is swallow, swallow too, but you have to chew. It, you have to chew. Oh my gosh, they have little They look feet. like they're alive. They totally look like, they feel like they're alive. We didn't even look at the nutrition. Do, are we supposed to be looking at the nutrition on this? Well, so the nutrition on... Well, let's look at the, the nutrition on the snails. The escargot. Six pieces in a serving. So there's two... So you can have six of those. And they're only 50 calories. No. And they're only one total carbohydrate. So two if you eat the entire container. And they're 0.5 grams of fat. Don't, and they are four grams of protein. Don't tip it. So they really have no nutrition to them. If they get on your pants, like I'm throwing your pants out. The, I just bought these pants. So one total carb, but less than one gram of dietary fiber. So they're about a half a carb each. So you can have all of these you want. So you can eat the whole can and they're only a carb. Good luck with that though. There's a recipe on how to make them with white wine sauce. Do you want to tr save them and try no, that? I do Maybe not. Maybe the white wine will get rid of it. It says that they actually added spices to it. Okay. So flukers. Ugh. Guaranteed analysis. It, look what it says. For reptiles, birds, and fish. Are we not supposed to be eating these? Gourmet style soldier worms. A moist, nutritional meal. I don't think we're supposed to be eating these. Not for human consumption. Does it actually say that on there? Yes. We can't eat these. These are not for Soldier human Soldier larva. Should we eat it anyway? No. I don't think we should eat this. You want to skip right to the... I got something else. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I am so glad that we read the label before we ate that. Because we almost just ate that. We, will we probably wouldn't have died if we ate it. We will save it for the chicken. Save Saved by the bell. That's what yeah. I'm going to say. Saved by the bell. The chickens will enjoy those. And, uh... This one's actually, you're gonna enjoy this one. What is it? Chicken of the sea canned pink salmon. Okay. I've, I've actually, I don't think I've ever eaten this in the can before. I mean, I've had salmon before. Okay, 110 calories, two grams of fat, zero total carbohydrates, 22 grams of protein, so really good for you. The ingredients in this are pink salmon, water, and salt. So this is a really good one. Chicken of the sea. Okay, new plate. Wow, we almost just ate animal food. <laughs> we are gonna save those. Okay, yes, We're absolutely. gonna save these for the chickens. Which, they will love it. It will be a super duper treat for them. Okay. Here we go. This may not be Joe's favorite though. Ooh, that smells like cat food. Why does all canned food, whether it's canned chicken, canned corned beef, or, canned yeah. anything, it beef. all smells like cat food? Yeah. It's kind of flaked. I was hoping it was gonna be chunks. I thought it would be like way pinker. So, me too. I'm still glad we're finishing on Vienna sausage. Yeah. Oh wait, I have a bone. Oh. It says boneless, but there I have bones. Oh, I have, a I bone have too. several bones. I have a lot of bones. Chicken of the sea. <laughs> Your can clearly says skinless and boneless. <laughs> I've got. I some have too. several bones in this can. <laughs> Watch yourself. Do not buy this. <laughs> I don't care what it tastes. Look, I mean, when you look at the can, look at how I can count like 10 bones right on the top. Well, just check it. Here we go. You ready? Don't give it? this to little kids, seriously. Yeah. It tastes like nicer tuna fish, like fancier tuna fish. I don't fish. like tuna fish. Yeah, but it tastes like tuna fish to me. It does not taste like salmon. Does it? It tastes like a little bit like salmon. I'm going to taste... say, it tastes like a cross of canned chicken with canned tuna. It's like yeah. you took a piece of chicken and you mated it with a piece of tuna fish. And that's yeah. what you got. This so it's very mild. I could eat this and I don't like canned fish. I don't like fish for the most part. But this does not taste like like what you're used to with salmon cooked in the oven. No. Well, that's because we're usually co coating it with oil and Parmesan cheese and cool stuff with it. Or we're smoking it, but it's not bad. If you told me this was tuna fish, I would not, I would not debate you. Like it's tuna very fish. mild. Yep. It's very mild. I could eat that. Here we go. Armor sausage. Armor. Vienna sausage. What are the nutrition facts on this guy? 
Serving size is four sausages. Wow. There's two, four, six. There's seven sausages in here, but they say there's two servings. So we got gypped a sausage. Did we though? We did. So I, I, I will, I will. Don't tip it. I'm telling I you, will the juice of these things. happily give you the full serving. Thank you. So that I can have less of the amount that you're supposed to have. Because I know. You may love this. I know. This may be the best food that ever. That you like volume on food. And, and I can have a smaller portion. So I'm happy to give you the full portion. Made and I'll with take a portion. chicken, beef, and pork. The ingredients in this are mechanically separated chicken. They want you to know that something hurt. To it's bring got this water, to you. salt, corn syrup. That's Contains less than 2% of beef, pork, jalapeno powder, spices, sodium erythrobate, sodium nitrate. Ooh, don't tip it. Natural flavors, paprika, and then chicken broth. And surprisingly, it smells like cat food. It sure does. <laughs> Why? There is 9 grams of fat in four of these. Okay. There's six grams of protein. That's kind of weird because it's mechanically separated chicken, which is usually higher than protein than fat. Yeah, but it's got pork in it too. Oh, that's, but that it says contains less than 2% of pork. And beef. The main ingredient is mechanically separated chicken. So it should be higher in fat and rather protein. So there's two total carbohydrates with less than one gram of sugar. So they're not adding a lot of corn syrup. And again, this is like zombie apocalypse. Even Dr. Barry says you can eat this kind of stuff. So you would eat um, the salmon in a zombie apocalypse? I would. I would. Good to know. Okay. Don't you love the seam? Like it's like they've sewn it together. Here we go. Not bad. Ooh. Ooh, it's got a little spice at the end. It's like tongue spice. That one's not bad. It's on the tongue. That is much better than the last one we had. The hot sauce one wasn't bad. No. The last Vienna sausage. I'm actually going back in. Are you really? Yeah, those are good. That's the hunger speaking. I am definitely not going to eat you before I eat this. It is not bad. The worst part about these is the texture. Yeah. They're very mushy. Yeah. But flavor-wise, they're not bad. The jalapeno is nice. The jalapeno is actually, wow, now it, it's got a nice kick to it. I think the jalapeno may be my favorite one so far. I like the jalapeno one. Again, worst part about this is the texture. It, they're kind of, they're kind of mushy. Mushy. But this is a find. I'm going to have another one. They're good. So what do you think? This one's not bad. I would eat this one. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay. That's going to be this week's episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor. I think it's episode eight. The spice is like it going definitely down my throat. You. Fortunately, we didn't eat the soldier worms. Whoever sent those to us. Sorry I'm very we didn't sorry eat we didn't eat them. I did not notice it. I'm sure they didn't notice that it. it's no. not for human consumption. Probably wouldn't have killed us to eat them, but I prefer not. <laughs> is that is that the level of like will it kill us? I don't know. There were lots of bugs that we saw when we went to Universal Studios, and Very they were selling bugs in dry. the movie in the uh, Mummy ride. Yeah, tons of them. Should have bought some of those. So we're going back there in a couple of weeks. So that's this week's episode. Again, if you like seeing these episodes, there's an address down below. You can send us whatever you want and whatever you want, so long as it's, it's edible for human humans. consumption. Yeah. I mean, we've even eaten a tarantula. Uh, we do have some ham hocks and other things coming up in the next episode. Ugh. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out the complete playlist, which you're going to find linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find linked right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel. Click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we eat, something grows. You'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.